All right, hello. Um, we probably saw this video coming. I mean, we knew this video was coming. I, I, I mean, I tried to make the salt a one shot, and I did make the salt a one shot, but it was a bleed uh, build that made it one shot, and it performs really, really well. I will make a video on a lot of the guns that I've tried so far on the new uh, disruption mission, but I mean. The Tetra was just, like, I think this video will showcase the exact reason why Tetra was number two on my top ten primary weapons list. Because I, I genuinely think this weapon can level cap that mission. No joke. Like, literally no joke. It can probably level cap it. And you will see what I mean when we try it. And I might even try... To level cap the mission this weekend on stream like i am genuinely thinking about it just take a random revenant setup with uh arcane acceleration or some shit like that and just go nuts with it for now for uh this showcase we're gonna showcase what it does with a wisp of and an eclipse so this is the build i ended up going with and usually with a tetra you would want to bleed build but if we're gonna go level cap these enemies, four bleed procs, will not be enough to do anything. So instead, we just go pure damage and hope for the best. This is a 53% heat infused Tetra. Heat being really good. I did some research on the Demolisers and I found two things. First of all, it makes sense that they cannot be armor stripped by any means. They, in fact, do not have any kind of health. They only have armor. So... If you armor strip them, you would outright kill them, which isn't possible. So that's why armor strip doesn't work on these enemies. It seems like these enemies are weak to blast and radiation. Now, um, blast sucks, so let's just ignore that, take that out of the way. Radiation, good. I tried it a bit, the damage reduction isn't helping at all, and Viral just performed better because of the procs and just reprocing itself. Also, Prime Cry Rounds is a mode that exists and just gives us more damage than this mode in radiation on primary weapons. So that's probably the reason why it performed so well. Now, if you wanted to take a secondary weapon, because you have prime two Prime modes that go radiation, it could perform really well. And I was thinking Tenet Planks, so... I haven't tested every weapon out so far for this mission, but I have a feeling Tenet Plinks will be pretty OP for this. You shall wait and find out. There will be a video about the best guns for the for the new mission. Tetra will definitely be in. And let's just showcase why it will be in right now. Um, the Wisp build is the Wisp build I use on every single one of my videos, except instead of Augur Secrets, there is Vile... not Vile... Um, what is the mod called? Vigor Swap. So, instead of Algor Secrets, we sacrifice a bit of strength, go Vigor Swap, and just go Eclipse. Why Eclipse instead of Roar? Because Eclipse stacks with Bane Modes multiplicative, while Roar is additive, so Eclipse gives, in the end, a bit of more damage. And that's about it. On the Revenant build, we will also go Eclipse, for the same exact reasons. Right. So... Uh, so far, I haven't got any really bad talisets. I believe the bad talisets and all the screenshots that I've seen of people having waypoints on 500 meters away were from Deep Archimedia only. Which I'm kind of thankful for, because if I had to walk so, so long, then, you know, it wouldn't be fun. Also, I love when this happens, because I have a compressor that can actually kill. Hello, how OP is this? <laughs> Whenever this happens, it's just so funny. Like, even if it doesn't actually kill, it just primes them so well, so... Anyways, uh, let's get a key. Ask and you shall receive. Get in here. Get growing power. Clips. Try to get a headshot from the Dogos. The Dogos can get you easy headshots, so I still use that head after some testing. Um, so three dead hit stacks. We prime this guy after he dashes, because you can prime him while he's dashing. Then you go behind him, aim for the little spot in his back. 
I'm not sure what he's doing, but sure. Well, that wasn't the best of sword cases. I can do it way faster. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Kava. Amazing. Alright. Let's not troll anymore. Just go and actually showcase it properly. Wait, already? Didn't they not appear like later? Ah, anyways. So you're gonna see on the Grazlings as well. Um, few shots and they just die. So yeah. Very, very strong. Can I grab the key, please? Okay, it seems like I can't grab the key. My bad. This is an absolute disaster. Whatever. Can I grab the key, sir? Why can I grab it with Operator but not with Warframe? This is stupid. I ironically can't grab it with the Warframe. What? Regardless, um, I still have the waypoint because I did unlock it. So we know where to go. Flash. That's annoying. Not gonna lie. Perfect. Also, the endless buffs from this mission will do very, very well. Like, energy for the rest of the mission. Amazing. So, one widow, just... You know. If you get a perfect hit, it's literally like less than 10 shots for the base guy. Which is absolutely insane, considering I had two stacks of deadhead, not even three. But yeah, um, damage situation. This thing doesn't care. Like I don't, I don't know what's going on. It doesn't seem to care, and it definitely won't have issues killing normal enemies because even if it does, you just shoot secondary fire and it just one shots them. So, I mean, this is like a very good contender for a level cup run. We'll see how it goes. I'll try it out probably during the weekend. I am down for it. Okay. Void rig. I have Kavat buff, unfortunately, but... Well, I mean, the first shot dealt half his health. Kind of, like... I, I believe we both saw that the first shot and he was immediately half up. So, yay. And now you're gonna see uh, why it's good versus Acolytes as well. I mean, you can probably guess why. <laughs> yeah, that secondary fire does a lot of damage, by the way. Oh, I may not have internet connection. Yeah, I don't. Uh, it's fine. We can uh, just ignore that since we're playing solo. Yeah, just ignore it, come on. I get I get it, I don't have internet, it's fine. Don't worry, Dim. I'm in the mission, I'm not gonna go away anytime soon. I am at some point, but not right now. I mean, chill. Can we chill? There. We're reconnected, it's fine. Alright, Bone Widow. We do the same thing, Bone Widow is way less lanky, so... You see that? Half HP instantly. Five shots, it's dead. So, like, I mean... I can do one more round if you want. I don't really mind. But, I don't know. This is... This is the gun to do this mission. This, once again, proves me that the Tetra has the most OP fully automatic firing mode in the entire game and it's not even close like five bullets on a fully automatic weapon to these necromex is just what the fuck you know there was one guy in the last the page video he commented like 
Oh, the best weapon for this mission is Energy Vampire from Trinity. I will prove that guy wrong. I will prove that it's a Tetra. Like, goddamn, this is crazy, crazy strong. But yeah, we can only fuck around and find out. So, let's showcase one more round. Show you what this does. Yeah. Prime them. One, two, three. And he's blood broke anyway, but I mean. It, it's just. Yeah, I mean. I don't know what to tell you. This this is the gun, right? If you guys have trouble in this mission, you don't know what to do, get a hit tetra, mod it for viral, and go ham. Like, damn. That is crazy. I would also suggest a hit tetra. Like, it seems like the heat procs are doing work on this, unironically. Instead of something like a uh, Hunter Munitions. I feel like it's more worth like this. Because you want the damage. You don't want to miss out on the damage. So once again, do this. Wait for him. Okay, can you chill? Yes, I can't hit him. This kind of what I only hate about this mission so far. But when I can hit him, it dies very quickly. You can also see how much tankier the Void Rig is compared to the Bone Widow, but... Overall, it's not too bad on either of them, especially if you get the correct setup to it. But, you know, if it takes you a long time to start hitting him, you may have trouble. It's on the other side, of course. I also bump on that stairway way, way too often already. <laughs> it's alright. Alright, we're stuck, right? Not from Deadhead, but from everything else, so... Mm -mm. Yeah. I don't know, it's still very surprising how quickly this kills them. The amount of damage Tetra does is... It's... it's just crazy. It's actually just crazy. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. This, so far, is the best gun. Uh, but I suspect the best gun for this mission overall will be a secondary weapon that abuses radiation very well. And the plank is uh, is the one that comes to mind right now. I will try it. Along with a lot of other weapons. For now, my choice would be the Tetra. I don't think I need to explain why. Alright. Void rig. So tank here one. I think that was pretty good. It also showed the damage attenuation. First shot dealt almost half HP. Second shot started dealing way less and just kept going. So yeah. Uh level cap possibility is at a fifty percent for me right now. I need to see how these Void Rigs scale to level cap. I know the enemies doesn't don't scale very well. Like, the normal enemies will die easily. But I'm not sure about Void Rigs. The Demolishers. Because they have damage reductions, damage attenuations. They have a lot of stuff going on in their, in their kit. We shall, as I said, we shall fuck around and find out. But yeah. Um, that is the Tetra. This is uh, probably... Oh, hello. This is probably one of the strongest uh, overall disruption weapons in the entire game. And so far, it's, for me, the strongest primary for this mission. Uh, by far. 
So yeah, highly recommend getting one. And remember, um, hit tetra get more damage. Hit as an element is OP, and generally something like this secondary fire 40k damage, 8 meter range. That is pretty awesome. And the Raven mode, it can get even better. This is like 2 plus, no minus, uh, all the short crit damage, there's no crit chance, I'm not even 100% crits, but since weak point counts as red crit instantly, then it benefits a lot from that. I don't know, it, it, it can get way, way better in my opinion, in this Raven mode. And it, it, you can imagine, one, one last thing I have to mention is that this gun is not multiplicative CO. This gun has additive. CO. It just has way too much base damage. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So the Tetra, without serration, has 3000 base damage. My Stalter, with a serration, has 800 on its fully automatic fire. That's how strong this fucking thing is. Like... Wait, why did it show 3,000? Oh, no, never mind, that's the secondary fire. It, it, it's still higher, it's still 900. It's still 900 without serration. It's still higher. Oh, that's so dumb. Okay. I mean, 3,000 would be crazy, right? But, like, you can compare it on other weapons. If we go Buzzlock, Buzzlock is a fucking strong primary weapon. Multiplicative CO, Serration, 1,600 damage without it, 600. Like, And I have Multishot Cold on this. It's not like I have a bad Raven for damage-wise. It's just, it's just that strong. Burst and Prime, this has additive CO2. What do you think? 287 damage without serration compared to like what was it 900 the the primary fire just deals so much damage that's that's what i want to get at it's just 900 damage without serration is absolutely nuts i just i can't stress it enough like that is crazy that that, that is just insanity so yeah, um, go crazy with this if you want to do the new mission. It's by far the best so far for me. So, I uh, thank you once again for watching this video. Discord Twitch links will be on the description. Tune in during uh, Saturday if you want to see the the level cap run for the uh, Tenet Tetra. I will attempt it. Not sure if I will make it, but we'll see for ourselves. And I'll see you on the next video.